All right, well, here's the continuation of Journeys Don't Stop Believing. I may have seen my video already where I showed you how to play a solo guitar arrangement of the piano intro. The and all that stuff. And so now I'll show you how to finish up the rest of the song. The intro is certainly the most difficult part, though there, uh, there is another pretty tricky part in the uh, pre-chorus, as you could say. So, let's uh, tackle the easy part first. Uh, the easy part is the uh, chorus, the Don't Stop Believing part, that comes in later on in the song, when the whole band comes in. Uh, you're going to need just a couple of chords for that, and they're all power chords, really. So, I'm talking about the... Okay, obviously that's very simple. So, all we're doing there is we're playing an, an E power chord. I just kind of fatten it up. So I fatten it up like this. I play the open low E, then the second fret on the A string with my index finger. And what I do is I, I flatten my index finger out, I bar it so that I also play the second fret E on the D string. So I'm playing the second fret on the A and the D string with my index finger. Okay? And then I use my pinky to play the fourth fret on the G string. Okay? And then the high B and E are open. So the low E and the B and the high E are all open. And then I have two, two, four. So you have to take your index finger and kind of you have to kind of uh, smush it forward there so you can bring your hand forward, the rest of your hand forward, so that your index finger doesn't block the strings. Okay, so that's how I fatten that one up. But you can play any E power chord you want. You can play that if you want. Okay, and then we have the little bass line. Okay, so we have... Bottom E string, two, four. I use my index ring. Then we have a B power chord, which is just on the A string. The fingerings for all of these are going to be index finger, ring, pinky. Okay, for every power chord, index, ring, pinky. So here we have on the A string, two. On the D string, four and on the G string, four. So we had two, four, B power chord. Then on the A string, four, six, four, six on the A string. Then a C sharp power chord. So that's on the A string, four, D string six, G string six. So we had. Now we have on the A string six, seven. I play that with my ring finger six, pinky seven, so that I'm. My hand is the farthest towards the headstock of the guitar, so I can most quickly get down to the next chord, which is which is an A power chord. So in other words, open A, second fret on the D string with my index finger, second fret on the G string with my index finger. So now you can play, or you can play, play that A power chord over here, but I prefer to play it down here. I think that's better. Okay. Now for this 
to finish this off, all we do is play the rest of the bass line, which is first fret on the D string. And then what I do is I play on both of my index finger. Then second fret on the D string. So first fret on the D string to the second fret on the D string. And then I go, I just take my index finger, flatten it out while I'm on that fret and go back to my first chord. Okay, so if you wanted though, you could go, if you've been playing, you know, a more simplified E power chord, you could go so that that fingering would lend itself better. But for me, I go, okay, so all together that was, So we keep going like we, we repeat like we just did. Except for this time we go, instead of going to four, six, six, we actually go to four, six, six starting on the low E string. So take that and move everything one string lower in pitch. So fourth fret on the low E, sixth fret on the A, sixth fret on the D. So we went okay and then you just finish it off by going back to the same A power chord. So the only thing we changed was normally we would go The only thing we changed was instead of this, we're playing this. That's the only difference. Before the pre-chorus is uh, this last. Uh, that leads back into the into the verse and leads into everything else. So we start on a B power chord, B, which is. We already played this one. Two, four, four, A string, two, D string, four, G string, four. And then we go right back to our E power chord. So B, E, B, E, A. Okay? We've played all these before, so we have B, E, B, E. Okay, and now we'll get to the uh, much more difficult, much more difficult part, which is the uh, <clears throat> pre-chorus, which we're going to learn that you can play the bass line and the chords at the same time. And for the sake of uh, this lesson, I'm just going to use uh, the first couple of fills that the bass plays. Uh, the fills actually change throughout the section. But I'm just going to use the first couple as example of what you can do, and then you can learn the others, or you can make your own, you can play whatever you want. The point is that you can play them both at the same time. So this is the part I'm talking about here. Now the way we're going to get through that is 